I'm Catherine from The Green Box and I'm going to be bringing you the most beautiful bee story uh, from St. Francis Bay that's just happened over the last couple of weeks. So um, the wild side Cape St. Francis is a, a lovely uh, natural uh, place to walk and we have a whole range of fane boards and in this area we also had a whole lot of beehives um, managed by Quake um, and Warren and um, St. Francis Irrigation and many people who maybe had bees building beehives in their homes in St. Francis Bay would call on Quake and he would come in his gear. This also happened to us. We had a massive beehive that was building in our garage and he came and carefully removed them and rehomed them with his beehives uh, along Wildside Cape St. Francis. And he really loves nature uh, and really loved his bees. Uh, this is Craig. And a number of weeks ago, he contacted me on a WhatsApp and said he is being asked to remove the bees from the wild side um, for numerous reasons. But it, it was mainly because some workers in that area were being stung by bees and he had to move the bees immediately. Um, and he gave a, a WhatsApp message to me and said, please, can you help me or ask your green box clients to help you or reach out to anyone to help me rehome or take these hives um, somewhere else where the bees can be happy. And lots of people on the green box community got involved and the word was spread around to try and find a home for these bees. And different people were going to take one or two beehives, but he had quite a lot of beehives. And... When I phoned Craig, I just really heard his heart and he was like, Kath, I've been to all these places and these people are so kind, um, but there's not enough food for my bees. And I really saw Craig's heart in wanting um, a home for these bees and he didn't want the bees separated. And um, here we have Craig, <laughs> who's uh, had a big catch there, um, but he also loves nature. Um, and he really w didn't want to separate the bees and he wanted the bees to go to an environment where they could be rehomed and continue making honey um, and not be separated. So I managed to uh, put the word out and I bumped into some farmers um, on all my travels on farms and I bumped into some farmers in Marcel Bay who've got a beautiful farm with trees and fanboss. And they were looking for beehives. <laughs> and I connected the, the, the two people. Um, and it's an amazing story. So here are the beehives, um, some of them. And Craig with his vehicle and also removing bees from other people's homes or garages. And um, didn't harm them, just really trying to take care of them, which is what we all should be doing. Um, and they used to have uh, this wild side honey, um, which was fan boss from Cape St. Francis. And um, then they were able to rehome um, their bees. And um, they're now in this new environment in Muscle Bay. And um, I know that Craig will be happy that they haven't been separated. And I've contacted the farmers and asked them how the bees are doing. And they say they are settling well. And they'll let me know <laughs> when they get some honey again. Um, so that's a beautiful bee story. The bees weren't separated, they weren't um, destroyed, uh, no harm. Uh, they were not harmed and they were rehomed to a beautiful environment in Marcel Bay. But now where do we get our honey um, in Cape St. Francis, St. Francis Bay and why should we use local honey? Well, if you have allergies from our fan balls here, it's really good to use the honey in your local area to help um, fight allergies. And we have Reese here who's got some beehives and he started his own little company and it's growing and he makes uh, this honey called Crab's Gold, which is available on Greenbox. And um, yeah, we're happy that we still have some bees and beehives in our area and honey, uh, thanks to Reese and Crab's Gold. So keep supporting local and supporting local bees and supporting nature. That's what Greenbox is all about.